Well, that was a fun way to start the day. Uh, Wales against the Barbars, 43 points to 33. Uh, a pretty interesting game. Like I said, a whole bunch of tries scored. Um, momentum shifts uh, in this one for sure. And uh, a fair few bits of, um, of skill on display as well. I didn't watch it live. I, um, I watched it from 5.55 when my daughter woke me up. Um, I checked the game on then. I didn't know the result, so it was pretty good. Uh, it did look like at one point Wales had, and the commentator at the end um, kind of summed it up, it looked like it was an unassailable lead. Uh, at one point it was looking very one-sided, but uh, the bench that came on for the Barbars uh, injected a fair bit of pace, and um, Wayne Pivak said in his, his post-match interview that, um, yeah, they, maybe Wales got a little bit loose, but from a neutral perspective and an entertainment perspective um those two things coming together actually made it for uh, a pretty entertaining one um before kickoff you could see nigel owens the ref getting to ref his home country um big smile on his face so clearly uh he was enjoying the occasion which was uh which was a nice little touch uh mcnichol started pretty sharp I thought in his first game for Wales, um, nice offload early to, to Ken Owens, who was everywhere in this one as well. Uh, but it didn't take long um, before before Wales got on the board. Uh, seven minutes, Josh Adams got his try. Um, it was Jared Evans in the, um, in the build-up. He had a little line break, kind of a half gap, and he just went straight through it. Adams could have passed it but didn't and still managed to beat his man to get the ball over for a try um probably should have passed it inside because there was an unmarked guy inside him i think it was evans um but either way uh still good try after that world cup i guess who can blame him for backing himself for going over seven nil uh parks went close but esther hasn't made a big tackle on him uh 17 minutes tiprick um gets a try but it's reviewed by the tmo and um yeah it's a little kick through from thomas williams hall spills the ball uh but tipperick i think it was a typical wainwright one of them was offside i think the tmo said eight was offside but i think it was tipperick who was wearing seven so um yeah either way the try was tmo'd for offside um the barbarians were doing the barbarians thing cross kick hendricks almost kept the ball in uh but not quite um 22 minutes though 24 was uh, when the try was officially awarded but uh the barbarians get a scrum they win a penalty take a quick tap from josh strauss and he just powers over with a bit of support uh he goes over the line and manages to force the ball to bring it uh even seven points apiece and the game wasn't just going through the motions because 29 minutes there's some proper handbags after uh esther hazen's kind of dump tackle and um yeah the, the wales players didn't take kindly to that uh, and then silly, um, the Barbars gave away a really dumb penalty for pulling off, uh, Justin Tipperick's headgear. You're not allowed to do that. It was just a ruck. He was just kind of standing there and just flick and then pulled it off. I think it was Van Staden. Just pulled off the headgear, like absolutely pointless penalty. Just trying to be, um, I guess troublesome for the sake of being troublesome. And from the resulting play, uh wales managed to score mcnichol got his try which was awesome for him and he'd been busy so he kind of deserved that try as well uh it was a scrum but they i think they reset it so they took a tap um they didn't reset the scrum it was either a free kick or a penalty i forget uh but they tapped it past it and uh, there was space out wide for mcnichol conversion hit the post uh from half penny but 12-7 with um with wales in front not long later but starting gets a yellow card for slowing the ball down as wales are attacking and um Sure enough, they go close with the resulting penalty. They take a maul uh, from the line out, and uh, it's just in touch. So it looks like the Barbars have escaped, but they've got a line out throw on their own five meter line, and Best's throw is not the best. It goes pretty much straight to to Ken Owens, who who just will not score an easier try. It's his first one into this, uh, the first half. And uh, he goes over to make it 19 points to 7 uh, at half time. The second half, Owens can't keep out of the scoring. Uh, he gets one either side of half time, as you can see. He's out wide. There's a bunch of 
a bunch of phases, good hands from from the Welsh players in the build up, and they just had a man over. I guess it's during the yellow card period, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, that try makes it twenty six points to seven, and then on forty uh, forty seven minutes, Adams gets his second. Thomas Williams again with a quick tap. Uh, he passes it to I think it was Win Jones, and then Win Jones passed it to like a good good like support play, good thinking from him to be there. Uh, the big man, uh, and then he passes it to Adams, who goes over for the try. So it makes it 33 points to 7. So a pretty costly yellow card, if you consider that cost the Barbars 21 points. Um, but then they, around, like, just before the hour, the Barbars started to bring on their subs, and it really seemed to make a good um, round of applause for Best as he went off. Uh, 51 minutes, sorry. It was um, well before the hour mark. But, yeah, best goes off, round of applause. They bring on Brits, who, who makes an impact for sure, and some of the other guys too. Uh, 55 minutes, yeah, Bosch gets his try. He just gasses through a half gap. It's Owens that he goes round, so it's kind of he, he sized up his opponent and, and made the right call to put the hammer down. Um, that made it 33 points to, to 12. It was a pretty terrible attempt at a conversion, to be honest, though, from Bosch himself. 59 minutes, Stevenson gets a try. The TMO had to check that one because there was a kick through, wicked bounce, and Lades kind of pushed Halfpenny, who was going for the ball, and the ref and TMO concluded that it was just a collision. It wasn't like pushing him to stop him getting the ball. To be honest, with the way that ball bounced, I don't think Halfpenny would have got it anyway, but it was a bit of a messy one, and I could see why some people wouldn't wouldn't be happy with it. But either way, that made it 33-19. Uh, Gareth Davis got the next try. He added some impact from the bench himself. A traditional, kind of typical try from him. Gas and and uh, a little dummy pass. He goes around Samu. The TMO checked it, and um, that one was all good. So, yeah, that made it uh, 40 points to 19 because the conversion hit the post and still went over. Again, 40 points to 19, it was looking dead and buried. 33-7, um, it was looking dead and buried, but... The, uh, the Barbars didn't give up, man. Miller got his try pretty much immediately from the from the resulting kickoff after that last try. Ardron caught the kickoff full steam. Uh, and he was going, um, yeah, just going for broke. They managed to bring him down. Brits was there in the build-up too. The final pounce to Miller, who, uh, who got the try. Oh, I've got these around the wrong way. Why did I write those names on that side? I've only just realized you guys must have been commenting about this the whole time. Seven minutes in, I'm not starting again. These are the Barbar's tries. These are the Welsh tries. Got that round the wrong way. Um, yeah, Miller got the try. He uh, he's, a, he's a big prop plays for the Sunwolves. Uh, former Otago man. Uh, it was a bounce pass for him, so it made it 40 points to 26. Uh, and then 67 minutes, Samu gets a try. Uh, Meeks... Puts a little kick through. Brits is the guy who gets it, and he kind of basketball passes it over uh, to Samu, who gets the try to make it 40 points to 33. So 40 points to 33 is totally game on. Um, and then the Barbars are kind of camped down their own half, and Tipperick gets a, a penalty, or he gets a turnover, and then the Welsh go on the attack. As the Barbars were trying to run it out of their own 22, which they had to do with a few minutes to play. Uh, Wales win a penalty. They decide to take the three to put it beyond seven. Uh, Brits was trying to talk them into just having a go because it's a Barbar's game. I guess they want a chance to be able to draw it up. But uh, Wales do the safe thing. Uh, a few people booed it, but uh, 43 points to 33. So, um, yeah, I think it was important that Wales got the win, especially having that big lead. Uh, they didn't want to throw that away. Having a first... Like the, the new the new coach, you got to get a win for him. Uh, if you lose that one, then there's, I guess, a bit more talk about his suitability for the job, especially playing the old coach. So, as a changing of the guard moment, it's probably a nice one for for Wales that they got the win. So, um, yeah, there'll be plenty of excitement uh, in Wales and their team being able to score 43 points. That were I mean, it's a Barbar's game, so you. You kind of take it with a bit of a grain of salt, but still, man, there were some proper skills on display. So, as Pivak said in the, the post-match, they are now one week better than they would have been in prep for the Six Nations without this game. So, it's uh, it's top stuff from them. They will be, I guess, a little bit 
concerned that they they shipped so many points after after that yellow card period ended but again it's a barbars game so that kind of thing uh is like to happen um but yeah can't read too much into the result but either way it was bloody entertaining it's got me excited for uh for the upcoming six nations a lot of these guys uh, for that Barbars team, we'll be playing in Super Rugby, so uh, pretty excited to see some of those guys next season as well. Preseason's pretty much underway uh, for the Super Rugby team. So, um, yeah, 43 points to 33. These are the Barbars tries. These are the Welsh tries and conversion penalties. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, I got up at 5.55, so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game. Uh, as I said, I thought it was a pretty entertaining one. Uh, do drop a like on the video if you, if you enjoyed it, despite me getting the things around the wrong way. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, but yeah, cheers guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.